Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on March the 7th, 2016. The title of the message is Manifestations of My Glory. And the Lord Jesus began, My glory shines brighter than the morning sun, my child. I desire to bathe my children in my glorious light. When you come into my presence, as I radiate with glory, if you are sick in your body, you will be healed. What you lack, you will receive. Why? Because darkness, sickness, and lack have no place in me or in my glorious light. My children, seek to live in my glorious light. In it you will not only receive healing, but you will be able to hear my voice and my Father's voice. In it your spiritual eyes will be opened and heaven will be opened to you. As you behold me in my glorious light, knowledge and wisdom will be imparted to you. You ask, where did this come from? Is it a new doctrine? No, it is not. Remember the transfiguration. I was enveloped in glory, and the three disciples almost went blind, trying to behold it. They fell to the ground, without strength. Why? Because flesh cannot stand in the presence of glory. My glory is awesome to behold. The three disciples saw it and fell back. Their eyes were opened, and they not only saw me glorified, but they also saw Moses and Elijah. Their ears were opened, and they heard my father's voice from his throne in heaven. By the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. I have given you one example. I will give you three more. Moses and the burning bush. It was not just a burning bush. It was a bush bathed in my glory, and my glory hallowed the ground he walked on. And that is why he had to take off his slippers. My glory hallows the atmosphere around you and the ground you walk on. Remember Moses, when he went up on the mountain to receive the Ten Commandments, he was in my presence, my father's presence. And when he came down from the mountain, his face shone bright like the sun because he had been bathed in my glory. Remember Saul, before he became Paul, my glory struck him blind. It was so bright so powerful it blinded him and struck him off his horse and onto the ground. Remember John the Revelator. When he saw me, he saw my face shining bright, and in my presence he received knowledge, wisdom, instruction, and prophecy. I have given examples of those who experienced my glory, my three disciples, Peter, James, and John, Moses, Saul before he became Paul, and John the Revelator the same one who witnessed the transfiguration. To be in my glory, to dwell in it, is therefore not a new doctrine. It is the desire of my heart that my children dwell in my glory. This phenomena will become very evident, especially during the tribulation period. My cubs will dwell in my glory. They will be filled with much wisdom. They will have much revelation. Wherever they go, miracles, signs, and wonders will follow them. Their faces will shine bright like the sun, and my manifest presence will be with them. This is the portion ordained for those who are sold out to me. A few will experience it before the rapture, but many more, a majority, will experience it after the rapture, in the tribulation period. I tell you truthfully, my children, after the rapture, many souls will come to me in tears and repent, and they will give their all to me. They will not go after wealth or power. No, they will only have one desire, to serve me with all their heart, and I will accept their sweet sacrifice of themselves. They will be endued with power from on high for the sake of becoming a witness for me on the earth and winning many souls for me. They will be bathed in my glory and rest in my peace. Oh yes, many will be the manifestation of my presence among my faithful ones. My sons will be manifested upon the earth They will go forth and conquer much territory for my sake. Though many may be martyred, yet their triumph upon the earth for my sake will know no bounds. Take heart, my cubs. You are not orphans. I will not abandon you. No, I am here waiting for you with open arms. Experience my glory, though they toss you in the fire like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yet my glory will be with you. Do not be afraid. I am here in your midst always in your midst. I love you. If you are left behind, remember this promise. To those who give me their all, they will walk in my glory. Your eyes and ears will be open. You will receive wisdom and understanding, and you will perform mighty miracles in my name. 
Be at peace. I am with you always, even to the end of this age. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.